Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create a new Azure virtual machine. So this is the interface of Microsoft Azure and we are going to click on virtual machines inside this Azure services. After that, we'll get a list of this existing virtual machines. So now I'm going to create a new one. So in order to do that, I will click on create and then virtual machine. After that, we'll get a page similar to this, which is asking us to configure a new virtual machine. So let's get started with project details first. So I'm going to select HashMap internal page as my subscription, and you can use your own according to your requirement. And in resource group, you can either create a new one from here, or you can select an existing one. So for now, I'm going to select an existing one. And in instance details, we are going to give a name to this virtual machine. And let's say Data Hub Trial VM2. So this is the name of my virtual machine, and you can give the name of your own choice. And after that, I'm going to select security type as standard and image as Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS Gen 2 and in size you'll get various options but for now i'm going to select this one but you can select according to your requirement and after that in authentication type i'm going to select ssh public key and for now i am using this azure user as my username and the key pair name will come as default and in public inbound ports we have to select allow selected ports and in select inbound ports, we are going to select all HTTP, HTTPS and SSH inbound ports. Now we'll click on next disk. So in disk options, we are going to select OS disk type as standard HTTP. And in encryption type, we are going to select this as default. Now leave everything as default and let's click on next networking. So here we are going to create a new public IP. So we'll click on create new. And after that, we are asked to select SKU and assignment. So the SKU will be basic and assignment will be static in order to create a public static IP address. And after that, we'll click OK. And in an IC network security group, we are going to select advanced. So now in Configure Network Security Group will create a new and then we'll add an inbound rule where destination port ranges will be 9002 and the name of this inbound security rule will be 9002 and let's add a description like this port will be redirected by all the requests coming from Data Hub. So looks good. Now we'll click on add and then OK. And after that, leave everything as default. And let's go to next management. So here, we are going to select this enable auto shutdown. So the shutdown timing is 7 PM. But you can select another timing according to your requirement. Now, in time zone, I'm going to select my time zone as UTC plus 530 and you can select your own and now in email box you can give one or multiple emails in order to receive notifications before shutdown and now we are going to click on next advanced so here leave everything as default and click on next tags so here we are going to give a new tag as name and value as cef.eg underscore cef underscore file. Yeah, okay. And after that, we are going to click on next review and create. So, whatever configurations you made till now will all be displayed here in basics, disk, and networkings and management. So 
you can just recheck once and after that when you are satisfied with these configurations you can download a template for automation this is optional and you can these are the configurations and you can click here to download but for now i don't require this and now we are going to click on create and after that it is asking me to download a private key and create resource so we are going to click on that and after clicking this a new file will be downloaded to our system which consists of a private key with a .pem extension so the it is submitting the deployment and after few moments the virtual machine will be ready to use so here it is showing that deployment is in progress so after a moment you will find that it is showing that your deployment is now completed so let's get back to home and click on virtual machines so now you can see that your data hub trial vm2 is created and these are the properties or details which are related to this data hub trial vm2 virtual machine so that's all about how to create a virtual machine thanks for watching